Uh, as we do that, Dr. Martin Lo, your thoughts about this approach? Because yes, the motion was, um, the notice of motion was given on Tuesday last week. The motion, anyone who wants to read it, it has been available, uh, though limited um, for different persons. Mm. That approach is taking. What is its place in this process that is both political and legal? First of all, let's remove any legal or any iota of a legal process. There's no legal process. Mm -hmm. This is entirely a political process. Mm -hmm. uh, the allegations being made, the evidence being laid, are as speculative as they are scanty. Because what is it about owning property? This is a capitalist country. People must own property. People who look for uh, public offices of necessity also uh, seek resources. And sometimes these resources are gained from the positions they hold. Now, that's true of almost everybody in public office today. Mm -hmm. So what is it that is so strange about Gashago and his property? Nothing. So there's, not, there's no illegality. There's nobody who has come up to complain that he acquired property illegally. He snatched or he did not pay up any of the uh, sale agreements or any of the debts he owed. So there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. And so we say that this is a political process. And perhaps it's also a diversionary process. Okay. We are at a very difficult time as a country. We are facing scandal after scandal. Adani and the airport, Adani and Ketrako, the social health uh, authority, the failed scheme. At a personal level, why would you want me to pay 2.75% of my salary and give me scanty benefits such as 2,000 bob for optical and dental and whatnot when I actually have a medical insurance mm. that gives me better, better. So why should I, why should I have my medical insurance and continue to pay for it? So there are so many uh, scandals that we are now obfuscating with this impeachment motion. Mm -hmm. It's diversionary. It's meant to take us to take our eyes off the serious issues. Uh, it's meant to make sure that by the time we are finishing with the Gashagwa, we will have a Danny sealed. We will have the, sh the, the social security health uh, somewhere working. The 104 billion that we paid for digital uh, support system for, sh for, for, for this uh, health security, we will have forgotten about it. So basically, we are being taken for a ride. As usual, we play up politics at the, end, at the expense of economics and at the expense of our nationhood. This nation is bigger than individuals that are actually entertaining us with their drama and with their divisions and their you know, inability to cope. Because we have been at it before. Mm -hmm. uh, there have been disagreements before. Yep. Even between uh, President Ruto and uh, President Uhuru, there were disagreements. And this constitution was in place. Yep. We never saw us come to this point where a, a president wants to have his deputy impeached. I think this is political, in terms of political hygiene, we just lost it. And are parliamentarians aware of that? Our parliamentarians are part of the big scheme. They are themselves uh, <laughs> architects, if not beneficiaries, <laughs> of a chaotic situation. Mm -hmm. And, and, and uh, they have not come out to deny that they are very independent in the exercise of that responsibility. They have not denied that they have been compromised because there have been allegations that they have been given money. They have not come out to defend themselves. So it appears that uh, their incentives are not necessarily in tune with the, with the aspirations of Kenyans on this one. Mm. 